Hey guys, welcome back to High School Hack. So maths is a very unique subject and studying for it would be completely different to how you would study for another subject. To do well in maths exams, you don't have to be an absolute genius or spend hours and hours of effort each day. You just have to understand how to study for it properly and apply it to your study routine. So here are five study hacks for mathematics exams that I learned and used during high school. The first hack is to not copy down what the teacher writes on the board. Now, a lot of people might disagree with me on this, but let me explain why. Mathematics is not a subject that is all about rote learning, which is repeating something over and over again to help you learn it. And in this case, it would be just going through the teacher's notes again and again. Instead, mathematics is about how to think logically and applying these to problems. Therefore, what you need to be doing during the time that the teacher is writing on the board is that you need to be understanding what is going on, what formulas they're using, and why they're using those formulas. And the great thing about this is that once you understand the theory concept, you won't have to go over it ever again because you've pretty much mastered it, and then you can straight away apply this in the exam, which is going to save you so much time during revision. Now, on to tip two, and that is to do homework and practice questions until you've grasped the concepts. For example, if I had just learned about factorizing, then I would do a few problems from the textbook or from exercise sheets on these, on the topic of factorizing. And then after I feel like I've gotten the hang of it, then I'll stop doing the questions because I've gotten up to the point where if I was in the exam, I know I'll be able to do a similar question and work that out. So the purpose of this is to save you from doing too much work. You don't want to be doing the same question over and over again because that's really repetitive and it's just a waste of time for the exam. Tip three is probably the most important tip that I'll give you guys. And that is to do past papers. This is because the actual exam will be very similar to that of previous years in terms of what's being tested and also what kind of questions they might ask. So it's a great way to improve really quickly before the exam. And what I found is that if I did three to five past papers before each maths exam, I would pretty much be able to do at least 90% of the questions in the actual exam because they were just so similar. Like they might change a few numbers here and there, might change a few steps, but ultimately it's like the same thing. This is absolutely the quickest way to improve if you're behind. So make sure you do those past papers before the test. Tip four is to reattempt the questions that you didn't know how to do at a later time. Going over the problems you struggled with and learning the solution of how to like actually solve those problems is a great way to quickly improve your math skills. And this will probably be extremely beneficial for you in the actual exam if they're really difficult problems, especially towards the end of the paper. Okay, the fifth and final tip is to make a list of all your careless errors. Now, there are two possible ways you can lose marks in a test. The first way is if you don't know how to actually do the question in the first place, or if you made a careless error, such as you typed in the wrong numbers into your calculator or you forgot the units after a number. Make a list of what kind of errors you made in previous exams and then before the actual exam, go over this list and see where you made your mistakes. Like for example, a key area I might need to focus on is to make sure I type in numbers correctly into my calculator. And then I'll make sure in the actual test to like focus on that problem and try to make sure, keep a note in my head to like not make that same mistake again. So there you have it guys. These are the five key tips that I use and what you can follow to efficiently study for your maths exams. If you really enjoyed this video or found it really helpful, please consider giving us a big like down below and also subscribe to our channel where we will post more life hacks for students so that you can all ace your next exam. I hope you've taken something out of this video and I hope to see you in the next one.